with journals, art journals, art projects, organized planner sheet. Well, hello everyone and welcome to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and select the bell for notifications. Well, it is vlog time, you guys, and I thought I would share with you everything that's been going on over the last month. I've done a lot of traveling and I've gone to Texas, Oklahoma, and Colorado. But before I do that, I wanted to be sure and thank all of my patrons who support me on Patreon and make it possible for me to do videos like this. So if you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash organized planner sheet. Thank you, patrons. All right, you guys, well, I was supposed to fly out on May the 7th to go to Tulsa and then uh, ride with my parents from Tulsa to Dallas to go to my brother's graduation and then all my other adventures but that didn't work out and this is why I posted this on Instagram that I was working on my Japanese and that was because on May 7th there were repeated delays due to bad weather in Houston where I was supposed to take a connecting flight to my final destination which was Tulsa at the time. I wound up going home and back home in Phoenix and Phoenix and taking a flight the next morning with a connection in Denver instead. But believe it or not, poor weather in Dallas where I was trying to get to now that I was a day late instead of going to Tulsa's going straight to Dallas caused another two hour delay. And while I waited, I practiced Japanese in my Tokyo 2020 Traveler's Notebook, which if you don't follow that um, playlist, be sure and check it out. I show you how I'm planning for the trip and my traveler's notebook and learning Japanese and all of that. So also while I was waiting, I was practicing Japanese, not just in my little notebook, but also on this website called Real Hiragana, R-E-A-L H-I-R-A-G-A-N-A, -A -A, real, real Hiragana. And there you can actually uh, practice all of the kana or all of the characters that you, you've been studying and learning. And then you'll see in a moment where you can select this um, extra button and you can choose different type fonts. So you can really practice like you would in real life because a lot of, no one's handwriting is exactly like a typewriter and different signs and things that you read are going to have different type scripts or fonts and that way you can practice you know really in real life so <laughs> so and also the last thing I did while I waited because I waited like a whole complete full day and I was supposed to leave at like 10 or 11 a.m. on the 7th I waited my daughter picked me up like at 4.30 or 5 and then we had traffic. So I spent all that time um, learning, practicing my Japanese on paper and with he real hiragana and also with um, just decorating and updating my notes here in my um, Tokyo 2020 Traveler's Notebook. So I put notes in there about how we had decided to wait until after the Olympics to go and that we'll buy our ticket about six months in advance when the discounts start hitting. Um, this is how much money I have saved so far from the trip. I actually made my appointment to uh, change my passport because I haven't used it since I got married seven years ago. I, we went out of town, my husband and I, right, as I, right before I changed it. So we've been married seven years and I still need to change my last name. So I don't know if that made sense. It was time for me to renew it when he and I got married. But I wasn't married yet when I did it. It was right before we got married. So my name, um, so I renewed it with my old last name. And now it's time for me to renew it with my new last name, even though it's been seven years. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. So I highlighted in yellow there all the characters that I knew really, really well. And there's one more column that we'll get to um, that I am uh, I know pretty well. And then you can see here while I was actually writing out the characters, writing out the kana uh, by hand myself, which was good practice, even though I probably won't really need to use that in Japan. But I was just trying to study and do some things while I was waiting. I actually did some art too, but I'll show that probably in another video while I was waiting to go back home to Phoenix. So that's the last um, column that I had learned pretty well. And I just did some decorating as I was killing time, waiting to just have to go back home and fly out the next morning. Isn't that crazy? But you know, things happen. To recognize the candidates receiving graduate degrees, 
Dr. John Gonzalez will present the nursing, Doctor of Nursing Practice and Master's Candidates. Dr. David Keller will present the Kinesiology oh. Master's Candidates. when I say that <laughs> since he's in his 40s and here's his beautiful family it was great to be there for his graduation and those are my adorable parents of course they were there too and then I rode with them uh, back <laughs> there is my dad with his grand his grand dogs in that sweet <laughs> they're so cute so then I finally made it to Oklahoma City, so I rode with my parents uh, to Tulsa, and then I drove from Tulsa to Oklahoma City to see some friends. This is B, who's been my mentor for many, many years, and that's my friend Christina. I stayed with Christina while I was in Oklahoma City, and she just published a book, and I'll put the information below where you can get it, and she, B has been one of her mentors as well, and there we are together. And so here is the planner meetup. So this was my wonderful planner group, OKC Planner Holics, which uh, I was a part of when I was still living in Oklahoma City. And it's worked out the last couple of years for me to be there during one of the weekend meetups. And these are my dear friends, Danny Planorama and John Rush on YouTube. I talk about them. I've talked about John many, many times. So that's who they are. I love them. And this is my friend, Nawasa, who I have been knowing or have known for almost 20 years she has been one of my very best friends she couldn't make it to my 50th birthday party which was in February and so she put together 50 different things <laughs> to give me for my birthday and this is a little clip from my video that I've previously published that you can check out there it's one of my haul videos um, and it's very recent and I was just showing you a little little excerpt of all the things that she gave me while I was down there for my birthday so that is 50 different items that is part of the 50 different items she gave me. It was so much stuff that my friend Christina had to give me a um, extra bag to check. And she actually, uh, Nawasa actually paid for me to check that extra bag. And this is the uh, journaling card that is available in my Etsy shop that I provided to everyone who was there at the um, meetup. And now we're going to see my wonderful Life Group family. These are some amazing people that I was uh, engaged with my husband and I we held a small group for Bible study and I love and miss them so much but this is a small group uh, portion of them God we know that no matter what else is going on in our lives no matter what's going on in our families at work whatever you're the God that brings peace and reassurance so we rest in that comfort us God we're here Remind us how much you love us and that you're always there for us, no matter what. We love you so much. We worship you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. And this is my pretend daughter, Shayna. She uh, attends the church there in Norman. And <laughs> I just sort of put her under my wing. She's adorable. I just realized that my actual daughter is not in any of these pictures. <laughs> and then my mom, I got back to Tulsa. I drove from Oklahoma City to Tulsa to have lunch with my mom for Mother's Day. And I just wanted to show how beautiful she is. I had her pose. <laughs> and she has all these looks. I don't know if you can see the little mama looks behind the smiles there like at that one right there. Yeah, that's yeah, you're in trouble, girl. Even though I wasn't in trouble, she still had that you're in trouble look right there. But there she is with her friend who also became a wonderful friend of mine. I've known her all my whole life, Linda. And it was wonderful to see her and to see her and my mom just love on each other. And here is my adorable dad. Is he not a cutie patootie? <laughs> he did not finish high school, you guys, but he is one of the most um, wisest, smartest people that I've ever known. Put a little look on your hand. <laughs> no, thank you, Daddy. <laughs> 
And there's my cute son, handsome son, Ryan, who's home for the summer, so he came home in May. And that's our worship pastor at church who did a great photo bomb. There he is. I, it's, I only get to see him a couple of times a year because he's in college in Cleveland. So I had to take pictures. I just had to. And then my husband and I celebrated our seventh wedding anniversary. Unfortunately, we went to Colorado that weekend. We had an unexpected death in the family. Um, and, you know, I don't know what to say about that. I'm just praying. Things happen in life that you just don't expect. But here we are showing love to each other. And then we are on our way back here, driving back. We actually drove to Colorado Springs this time. We're flying later on in June, but we drove. And that's the end of this vlog, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. All of my subscribers get an additional discount from my organized planner chic Etsy shop. And that discount is in the description below. Check me out on Instagram at Organized Planner Chic and my Facebook group, Organized Planner Chic Crew. Until next time, happy planning.